VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. So we'll try to understand what is VLOOKUP function and why do we use it, okay? So VLOOKUP function, so as I said, it's a function. And why do we use it? It is used to find the value by searching in a given table or a range array. And here, this is a formula. So it has, here if you observe, it has around four columns. The first one is the lookup value. And the other one is a range. So nothing but you will be searching this lookup value in a given range. And after that, what do you want to fetch it from that particular range? And last one is the approximate match or exact match. You can mention either true or false. If you want exact match, you have to mention false. Or if you want to get an approximate match, you can mention true. And let us see one sample function here if you observe. So this is my sample Excel sheet. In this, I have two sheets. The first one is employee master, which has all the employee data. And the next one is like, uh, I just have a sample employee data in which I have five employee records. I just want to know whether this particular specified employee ID is available in the master sheet or not. So how do I how do we do it? Using this particular VLOOKUP formula, here I mentioned VLOOKUP of the column B2, the cell B2, comma, employee master, a colon A, nothing but in the employee master, the first the first column was employee IDs. And I just mentioned A colon A, comma, the cell number. So now here, if you observe the range is just, I mentioned only one column range. So I just mentioned A colon A, and then I want to fetch the first column in that particular range. So I mentioned one, comma, I require exact match. So I mentioned false. So that what I'm getting here is the for few records, I got the value and for the other records, we got in A. So wherever you get hash, and slash a are not applicable it's nothing but that value is not available in the master list okay so we can also mitigate this particular na kind of logic nothing but let us say if you don't want to display na which does not make uh, any sense at all or maybe if you don't like na at all then what we can do is we can use another function called if na so using if na what we can do is we can just slightly mention here if you observe if na is a function i just mentioned the value if at all, whenever the result is NA, hash N slash A, so what we can do is we can just display not valid employee, okay? So let us try to achieve this particular functionality now using our Excel sheet. So let me open my master Excel sheet data. So this is the employee sheet, which I'm talking about employee master, which we have employee ID, first name, last name, salary, department, all those things. Now what we do is let us say, I just want to validate a few employees which they are valid or not. So I'll just say validate employees. So now what I'll do is I'll just try to fetch a few employees like uh, I'll say is available. So I'll try to mention a couple of employees. Maybe a five employees. Now I'll say 100, 102, 302, 05, 106, 107. So I just want to know whether these particular six employees are available in the employee master or not. So what I'll do is now I'll just write the formula. Yeah, you can mention is equal to here. So how do you do it? In the cell, let us say in the column C2, cell C2, I just mentioned is equal to, mention the formula name V lookup, V L double O K U P comma. And what is the lookup value? So B, B2 is our lookup value and comma, the table array. So in where, where do you want to search the data? I want to search the employee data in this particular sheet. So from here, I'll just mention, like this i just selected the total column and comma what is the which index now you have selected a range so we have just selected only one column range in that one column range if at all if it matches what is the value in return you want to get it i just want to get the employee id itself and then comma whether do you want a approximate match or a exact match i prefer exact match don't try with the approximate match you know you may get a different error like a different results that may lead to some issues so better I prefer always exact match. If at all, if you really require not exact match, you can try that, okay? So now here, if you observe, so employee number 302 as well as 1070 is not available. So that's the reason it gave a name. Now let us say, I want to fetch employee name based on my employee ID. So what I want to do is I just want to get my first name based on my employee ID. How do we do it? So we can apply the same formula, but here a little bit different. So we look up of what we want to do Lookup value, which is our lookup value? B2 is lookup value. And what is the table array? So now table array here, we have to select, we have to select A as well as B also. If at all, if you want to get the last name, you can select C also. Let us say I want to get only first name. I have selected column A comma B. Now we want to fetch which column? We have selected two columns, A as well as B. A colon B I have selected. Now I'll just mention comma two. 
and then comma false. Now we'll get the first name of each employee. You can just drag and drop. The formula will automatically get the appropriate information for us. Right now, if at all, if you want to get a salary, similarly, similarly, we can apply the same logic. So what I'll do, we look up of B2 comma, and what is our lookup range now? So where is our salary value available in the column H? So first of all, the column which you want to search should be always the first column. That is very important. So employee ID. Now, we, let us say if you're searching a table range and if you want to search on a particular key, that key has to be on the first. Nothing but the employee ID in our case should be the first column in the table range when you select it. So now based on this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So column H is at the eighth position. I have to mention eight now. Eight comma false. Now we'll get a salary. Okay. So now the other function which we want to try out is like a hash any, right? If any. So if at all, if you are getting any, I don't want to display like this. I don't want to display any. I simply want to display uh, some other value like a zero or something like that. Let us say new salary, new salary, I'll mention, or maybe get salary. So here, what I'll do is I'll just apply the same thing here. But here, for the VLOOKUP, I'll say if any, if any, comma, I'll simply say zero. That's it. So wherever you are getting any, it simply displays zero. And the same thing we can apply for the employee number and all these things also. Now, other thing I want to tell you now is let us say if you're observed in this particular sheet, the employee ID is a unique key. Employee ID is unique key. And now let us, if you're trying to search the data based on department number, if you want to know whether this department number is available in this sheet or not, you will not get the relevant data here. The reason is whenever you're searching a VLOOKUP, the key value should be unique. Okay, now in our case, the key, nothing but employee number, what we are searching, and we are expecting that the employee ID is key, is a, it is a unique value in this particular sheet. That's the reason you're getting a proper result, else you'll not get a proper result. Let me search another way. Now let us say I have a phone number, I want to know the employee ID of that. Okay, now I'll just create one more sheet. So what I have is, I'll say telephone number, and I have this telephone number, Okay. And I want to get the employee ID of this particular phone number. I want to get the employee number of this particular phone number. Now the problem here is, so this phone number is at the column E. The follow, follow this particular phone number is at the column E, but the column which you want to get it is at the first position. So in this case, what you have to do is, so the, I have to insert or I have to exchange values like this. Nothing but what I can do is for now, I'll just simply insert one more column here, okay. I'll copy this employee data here, or maybe I'll copy the phone number to the first position, like that we have to do. So for now, what I'll do is I'll just simply copy the employee data, okay? And I paste here, okay? And then we'll do a VLOOKUP. B2, then where is our phone number here and then here and which column you want to get it the second column two comma false got it employee is 100 so this is how we can apply a vlookup function this helps in reconciliation this helps in finding out validating your data and you know like file like a, it works like a intelligent uh, what do you call extraction information like rather than you performing the search and finding out the result you can simply apply a function and you can get the relevant data from your source data okay so this is all about we look up in microsoft excel thank you